Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to film a makeup look using all cruelty-free makeup products and brands. First thing I'm gonna start off with is this Aborian Matte Cream, which is a primer. So this just mattifies the face and it gives the face a blurred appearance to the skin. And if you don't know who Aborian are, they are a Korean skincare brand. It has a fragrance to it, so if you don't like fragrance, then this might be one to avoid. It's not strong, it is a delicate scent. It's a really pretty smell. And I just use this through the center of my face to take away any shine and just prep my skin ready for the base makeup. So you can get this in 45ml and 15ml. You do have to give this a good shake before you use it, otherwise you get a load of clear fluid coming out and it just goes everywhere. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And the color I'm gonna use is light beige. So this foundation is really lightweight. It delivers a kind of medium to full coverage and it does depend on how you apply it. If you apply it with your fingers, you're gonna get much more of a sheer coverage. I like to apply it with a duo fiber brush because it does pick up less of the product and apply less of the product. This is an oil-free foundation as well. The nice thing about applying a foundation with a duo fiber brush is that you have that ability to be able to decide the coverage that you want. You can build it up in layers and the more layers you apply, the more coverage you're gonna get. But the nice thing is, is that it's not gonna be streaky. Instead, you get that nice kind of skin-like finish. If you apply it too thick, then you're gonna see the makeup sitting on top of the skin as opposed to it looking like skin that's naturally more flawless. So I've managed to apply two layers to my face with just one pump of the foundation and it gives really good coverage. Because I'm applying it with a duo fiber brush, the one pump has gone further across my skin as opposed to applying one pump to my sponge and trying to spread that over my entire face. The sponge is just gonna absorb a lot of that foundation. Don't forget to also swipe it over your jaw and down onto your neck. So as you can see, my complexion now matches my chest. We do need to still kind of create more dimension to the face, but I'm gonna do that after I've done the eyeshadow and the brows. So if you've seen my brow tutorial on how to achieve supernatural brows to make them look like they've been microbladed, you'll notice that I actually used a pen by MAC, but MAC aren't cruelty free. And I did notice that Urban Decay now have pretty much an identical version, but even better, rather than having the stupid powder on the end, it has a pencil. So this is their brow blade. The color I've got here is called Brunette Betty, which I think is gonna be a little bit too warm for my skin tone because my natural hair color is quite ashy. So I think I am going to need Neutral Nana, I think it's called, or possibly Taupe. I uploaded a tutorial using this product yesterday. I will link it on screen for you now and I'm gonna whisk through it so you can see how to achieve the microblade effect. This brow has no product in it. And this one I've used the brow blade to define. For me, this is the best product that I've ever used on my brows. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this new Melody Collection by Zoeva, which is one of my favorite brands. This new collection, which launches tomorrow, which is the 25th of March, is inspired by the butterfly. It's an absolutely stunning collection. It consists of this eyeshadow palette, five lip glosses, and a handheld mirror, which I'm actually using. Again, nothing in this video is sponsored. Everything has either been gifted or I've purchased myself. I'm using the lightest brown shade in the palette. It does have a slightly kind of peachy undertone. And I'm working this through the socket with a synthetic brush. This one is by Real Techniques. And this is just a light layer to work as a transition shade. I'm also running that underneath those bottom lashes all the way across to the inner corner. Next I'm getting with this kind of taupey brown shade and I'm placing that on the outer corner of the mobile lid. As you can see I'm using the same brush but I'm gonna switch it up to a small crease brush so I can have a little bit more precision and the blend will just be a little bit softer. Now the reason it creates a softer blend is because the bristles are more splayed out which means there's less of them. This means it picks up less product. Provided you use a super light hand, you can really create the best blend with this type of brush. I'm also taking that taupe shade on the inner corner of the eye and connecting that through the socket. So think of it as a bit of a rainbow. We've got the two ends and they connect to the top where they meet and then we've got the very center of the lid with no color on. And back to the palette, I'm now gonna take this cool toned gold and using my finger, I'm gonna press that onto the center of the lid. It's a very soft eyeshadow and it works best with your finger rather than a brush. Pairing this kind of cool toned gold with the cool toned taupe shade that we've got on either side of it just so happens to work really well with the top that I'm wearing. 
Often it works really well to match your clothing to your makeup colours. Similar to how somebody with blue eyes, if they wear a blue top, it makes the blue in their eyes look more blue. Going back to the palette, I'm taking the darkest brown and using the same brush, I'm gently buffing this onto the very outer corner of the lid to intensify the brown. I've made sure to tap off any excess product from my bristles before I apply it to my eye just so that we get a very subtle wash of colour rather than anything too intense. And then I'm taking a smaller brush by Zoeva to apply that same colour to the inner corner. Using something this small gives you much more precision so that you're not going to apply it in the areas that you don't want it. Taking this magnetic matte eye colour by Nude Sticks, this isn't the shade Coco and I'm running that along my waterline, I'm also going to use it to tight line. Brown is a really nice way to create a subtle smoke rather than something like black which can be a bit harsh. Next I'm taking this Wet n Wild Mega Liner in Dark Brown. We're going to use this to define the root of the eyelashes, making it look fuller. We're not using it to create a wing or anything like that, we're simply creating a line from one end to the other and then using what powder's left on our pencil brush to run that over the top to soften it. We're not smudging the eyeliner itself, we are just applying a powder over the top. To add some drama to our eyelashes, I'm going to go in with this Marc Jacobs primer before applying the mascara. If you've never tried an eyelash primer before, you may find it changes your lash game because it really does add a lot of volume and drama to your natural lashes. So you want to just give that a few minutes to set and then we're going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I'm sure you'll know by now that I am a massive fan of multi bristled wands and I think I've been using this one on and off for about 4 years, maybe a little bit longer. May even be five years yeah it's definitely been a favorite of mine over the years and as you can see it just creates the most fluffy big voluminous lashes and obviously it helps having the primer on underneath for those of you that don't have long lashes these ones are really good these are a new set by huda beauty and what's great about these is that they're a little bit shorter so i've done my eye makeup and as you can see it's quite a cool tone it kind of matches the almost taupey color of my top so to create some dimension to the face, I'm going to use the All Nighter Concealer by Urban Decay. Sometimes this light neutral shade can often look a little bit on the pinky side. I like to just add a little dab of Fair, which is really light. I find it just kind of lifts it a little bit. So I've added this to the kind of central zone of the face. It just creates a little bit more dimension, pulling this area more forward and just creates a little bit more shape because the foundation can make it look quite flat. I'm going to use my Cream Contour Spectrum Palette by Zoeva and I'm just going to mix a couple of shades together to warm up the circumference of the face and I'm going to go back in with my It Cosmetics brush. So I'm just going to use my brush to kind of tap between the shades I'll then tap that onto the back of my hand so I've only got a little bit left on the bristles and I'm going to work this over the cheekbone area to warm up the face because we've got quite a lot going on with the eyes, I don't want to sort of like create a really full on contoured look, but we are going to sculpt the face. So it's going to sit in this area, but it's not going to be too intense. I'm going to just tap it over the nose a little bit and then around my hairline. The face looks more dimensional now rather than flat from the foundation. And it also gives us a little bit more colour which is nice because it is currently March and although we've had some nice days in the UK, it's not by any means tanning with us. So we need to warm up the skin to look nice and healthy. The next I'm gonna take in the nude, Nudies All Over Face Color by Nude Sticks. And I'm just gonna go straight onto the brush with the bullet. And then I'm gonna press this onto the cheeks and again, starting kind of just further back from the apples of the cheeks if you smile that little area there and just tap it into the cream that we've already applied to kind of warm up the face and that's the beauty of working with creams they kind of just blend into each other with real minimal effort creams suit all age groups mature skin in particular I'm gonna go in with this Aborian copper glow in the palette itself doesn't look like it's actually gonna come out very intense which is kind of what you want you don't want anything over the top I'm gonna to just press this in a stipple motion over the area that we've applied the bronzer but towards the back half of the cheek through the center of my face I'm gonna apply a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush Flawless finish powder and this is just going to help to mattify the skin It should stay relatively matte anyway because we've applied the matte cream by Borean at the beginning 
this is just a little bit of extra security and on my lips I've just applied some Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury I really like this I know I used it the other day but for me it's just enough colour look at these gorgeous lip glosses by Zoeva it's part of their new Melody collection I think I might just put a tiny bit of this on because it's not too dissimilar to the eye and it is only kind of more the tone of the glitter rather than the actual colour but just adds a little golden hue I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial it kind of gives you that soft smoke but without being over the top which I think is really beautiful and suits so many people if you've got any questions or suggestions leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you don't forget all the products I've used will be listed and linked in the description by don't forget to follow me outside of YouTube I always show products and swatches of products before I use them on YouTube on my Instagram I'll add my social handles on screen and at the beginning of the video as well thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon bye